Hi there, it's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, we're gonna review some tips and tricks to help you relax while flying. One of the things that I seem to struggle with is resting on a plane. I don't know why, but I can never seem to get comfortable while flying. I feel cramped, sweaty, and no matter how hard I try, I can never seem to get as much sleep as I would like. In fact, I'm always envious of people who can just fall asleep during the entire flight. For me, red-eye flights are torture since I'm never able to get the rest that I need, unless I'm able to get a lie flat seat, which is not often since I can't justify the cost even with points. I always thought I was in the minority when it came to this struggle, but I seem to have met a lot of folks lately who share the same experience as me. So today, I wanna to run through some tips and tricks that I use to help me relax and get some rest while flying. I can't guarantee that they'll work for you, but these are things that seem to work well for me. Number one, reduce lights. This not only applies to windows, but also overhead lights and screens. The blue light from screens has been known to affect our biological clocks, so you might wanna give yourself a break from your electronics. Or if you really wanna use your device, I suggest reducing the brightness of your screen to minimize the amount of light, or investing in a dedicated e-reading device like a Kindle. Number two, wear comfortable clothes. This might seem like a no-brainer, but I've been guilty of wearing clothes that aren't the most comfortable when flying. This also applies to footwear. I often wear the most bulky shoes when traveling to save space in my suitcase, but I feel like I'm so much more likely to fall asleep when I take them off. So, if you struggle to get comfortable while flying, consider wearing more loose and stretchy clothes. For me, I usually wear one of my Prana Brian pants. They look like normal pants, but they're actually made of nylon and spandex, which makes them super comfortable. They're actually my go-to pants when traveling since they're easy to wash and dry and can work for all sorts of situations and environments, whether it's hiking or exploring town in a tropical location. Number three, consider your dining and beverage choices. It's generally recommended that you eat prior to your flight in order to maximize your chance of falling asleep. For me, that's usually an unrealistic expectation, so I recommend being careful of what you're eating and drinking. Depending on how sensitive your stomach is, you might wanna avoid spicy foods, which might be more likely to upset your stomach. Also, if you're prone to snoring, you may wanna avoid drinking alcohol. Apparently, alcohol can relax the muscles in your throat, which makes you more likely to start snoring, which can not only disturb your sleep, but also disturb your seatmates. Number four, bring a pillow and eye mask. I know a lot of people swear by neck pillows. To be honest, I can't seem to get comfortable with them. However, I will say that a nice pillow and eye mask seems to work really well for me. If you're looking for a specific one, I've tried a couple, but I've been really impressed with the ones from Happy Lux. Their eye mask and pillow are extremely high quality and are made from a super soft micromodal fabric. The pillow is bigger than most airline pillows, but it can be compressed into a small suitcase pocket without any problems and still retain its shape. The pillow cover can be washed as well, which is great after being used in a dirty plane. Happy Lux also has an interesting backstory. The founder of the company served as both a commercial and Air National Guard pilot, and she decided to create products that she felt would help her sleep while sitting in a plane. I definitely have a soft spot for veteran-owned businesses, but I honestly feel like their products are a great value for the money. Number five, buckle your seatbelt over your blanket or sweater. Flight attendants are required to verify whether your seatbelt is secured when necessary. To avoid having a flight attendant interrupting your sleep, I suggest buckling your seatbelt on top of your layers. Number six, pick your seat wisely. Window seats toward the center of the plane are generally the most quiet seats. You definitely want to avoid the front and last row too, as you'll get the most noise and smells from the galley and bathrooms. The last row seats usually won't recline either, which makes it more difficult to relax. Not to mention the line of people who might be waiting to use the bathroom during the flight. Number seven, block sounds. I know a lot of folks swear by noise canceling headphones. I don't know if I've just not had a good pair or if I'm just too sensitive, but the pressure on my ears always makes me feel uncomfortable. Instead, I usually rely on some cheap earplugs or earphones that are able to block out sounds. I'm sure a quality set of noise canceling headphones would probably be a lot more effective, but this seems to work really well for me. Number eight, consider taking melatonin. 
Melatonin is a natural hormone that helps trigger sleep in your body. I know some people swear by it, while others say it's all psychological. I've taken it a few times on long flights, and it does seem to help me relax. I also use it to help me sleep through the night when I'm trying to recover from jet lag. It could be completely psychosomatic, but either way, I seem to get good results from it. I know some folks use alcohol or sleep medication to help get them through a flight. I'm not recommending it simply because it doesn't seem to work for me and I just don't like the idea of using a medication to help me get through a flight. Though, if a glass of wine can help you catch some sleep, it's definitely worth considering. Do you have any tips or tricks to help you rest on a plane? Also, do you have any devices that help? I'm still searching for that magical neck pillow. I've included Amazon links to some of the products mentioned in this video. TripAstute does get a percentage if you use our link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help us continue creating content for this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, sign up for our newsletter on our website for travel articles, updates, and information on giveaways, like our 2000 subscriber giveaway for five $20 Amazon gift cards. Until next time, travel safe, travel smart.